This video is brought to you by the Grade Courses Plus. Stop me if you've heard this one. A mathematician, a statistician, and a sociologist walk into a county fair. Near the entrance, they see a crowd of people and try to figure out what's going on. They discover a competition to guess how many marbles are in a jar. Thinking this is a little boring, the three friends decide to have their own competition. Who can come up with the best method to estimate how many marbles are in the jar? The mathematician proposes, We can figure out the perfect packing density. Which is the ratio of the filled space to the volume of the jar. By multiplying the volume of the jar by the packing density, we get the amount of filled space. Dividing this by the volume of one marble gives us the number of marbles in the jar. How do we find the density of the perfect packing? If four marbles are packed as closely together as possible, their centers form a tetrahedron. Packing in more marbles creates a lattice of tetrahedra. By comparing the volume of the filled space in a tetrahedron to the whole tetrahedron, you find that about 74% of the volume is filled. So the perfect packing density is the one where the marbles take up about 74% of the jar. The statistician then interjects. I don't want to do any integrals. I'd rather do some experiments. Since the marbles won't be perfectly packed, we should look at a random packing. She suggests running 100 trials to find out the average amount of volume filled. Then you can take this average and divide by the total volume to find the random packing density. With a random close packing, the jar usually ends up 63% full of marbles. Then we can use this as the packing density in the previous equation. Finally, the sociologist speaks out. I propose that we combine information from the crowd to guess the right amount instead of trying to look at the problem geometrically. We'll let each person in the crowd guess and then average their results. We assume that people can make decent judgments about the number of marbles that fit in a jar. However, everyone is going to make mistakes and either overestimate or underestimate. As long as the mistakes are random, the average mistake becomes very small. If the mistakes aren't random, say the glass makes the marbles look smaller, everyone's guess will increase and the average guess will be above the real value. Most of the time the crowd's guess beats every individual guess. So tell us who you agree with, the mathematician, the statistician, or the sociologist. Or do you have a better method? This video is sponsored by The Great Courses Plus, an on-demand video learning service with top-notch lectures and courses from fantastic professors and experts. They have thousands of courses on topics ranging from math and science to cooking and photography. I want to particularly recommend a course by Art Benjamin. You may remember one of my videos, The Math Magician, where we interviewed Art about his lightning-fast mental calculations. Well, Art has made a course for the Great Courses Plus called The Secrets of Mental Math. He'll show you the tricks he's developed and how they work. The Great Courses Plus is giving viewers a great offer of a free one-month trial, and after that plans start as low as $14.99 a month. Show your support for Tipping Point Math and please visit thegreatcoursesplus.com slash tippingpointmath. Click on the link in the description below to start your free trial today.